I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I, oh, I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Bow! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chetty Bobby. Eleven, buddy! And we are back with another men's fragrance countdown video for you guys and gals today. If you've not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that bell for notifications. We're giving you daily uploads, sometimes twice daily, like the gas station. So let's just keep it going. Today we are going to do my Lacoste L1212 rankings. Um, I have 10 of them from the Lacoste L1212 line. I think I may be missing a couple. There's one that was like a partnership, like exclusive um, that I don't have. And there's one called Neon, I think that I don't have, but I have 10. So we're gonna do that. Keep in mind, I'm a fan of all these 10, but there's gotta be a one through 10 and we gotta get it together, okay? So y'all be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. Subscri uh, follow me on Instagram. It'll be here on the screen for you. Chad Arm Show, let's get it. Whoop, my number 10. My number 10 is Lacoste L1212 Vert. This is the green one. Um, I think this one's dope, but it's not one of, I just think it's, I don't know, it says the notes in it's blue lavender, bamboo, teak, grapefruit, and iced melon. I think it's cool. Um, it's not one that I wear a lot. It's fresh, it's a fresh, definitely a fresh fragrance, but doesn't, I don't know if it's the, if it's the, the teak. Or maybe the, but something about this kind of makes it smell, I don't want to say bitter. It may be the ice melon, I'm not sure. But I do think it smells good. It's a good It's a good fragrance, but of these 10, this is my least favorite. So my number 10 is Lacoste L1212 Vert. My number nine. My number nine is another one that's nice. That is Lacoste L1212 Optimistic, the yellow joint. This one is cool. This one's got a lot of spice kick to it, though. Um, this one's got grapefruit, pink pepper, tonic water, red apple, coriander. It almost feels like there's cedar in this, uh, but it's not one of the notes. It's got a very spicy vibe to it, um, and while I still like it, it's my second least favorite. I do like the scent better than Vert. Um, but something about that spice, I'm guessing it's the pink pepper. But pink pepper normally doesn't smell like this to me. It, it kind of gives me a cedar vibe. But either way, it smells good. Uh, so this is my number nine, Lacoste L1212 Optimistic. My number eight. My number eight is going to be Lacoste L1212 Energized. Now, while I do like this one, it basically is just a slightly amped up version of L1212 Blanc. I think it smells good, but it's nothing that's outstanding as far as differentiating from, you know, the others. You got ginger, mint, tuberose, vetiver, and citrus. This is from 2016. Let's hit it one more time. I guess it's got a great scent to it. I do like that mint, but I just feel like there's not much difference from this one to... There's a small difference. The mint's a little small difference. That's really the only difference. It's not really very energized, um, but uh, it still smells great. So my number eight is L1212 Energized. My number seven. My number seven is gonna be Lacoste L1212 Alfresh. This one's a very fresh one. This has got similar vibes to Versace Man Fresh. Um, you've got lemon, uh, limoncello, patchouli, cedar, and musk. There's cedar in this one. But I don't smell the cedar in this one. I smell it in the optimistic, but it smells good. Very, very fresh, uh, like freshy for sure. You can really compare this one to Versace Man Fresh to me. Smells great. Um, lasting power on it's not all that good though. Um, which is usually the, the the way it goes with, with fragrances this citrus based. You know, anytime you got lemon, limoncello, patchouli. The patchouli gives it that little bit of in the cedar, but in the musk, but it just doesn't last all that long. But it's a great freshy. Number seven, L1212 Fresh. My number six. My number six is going to be L1212 Noir. 
This one's a nice one, man. You got watermelon, basil, verbena, lavender, dark chocolate. Very interesting blend of notes. I know when you hear it. <sighs> Smells very, very nice though, man. That verbena though, I definitely smell that. I don't smell the dark chocolate though, unless it's on the dry down. You smell it a little bit on the dry down, but not, not off rip, at least with me. I definitely smell the, the basil and the verbena. I don't really smell the watermelon in this either, but it's still a very good fragrance. It lasts, it's got a good lasting power on it. That's why it's higher up. The scent, I don't necessarily like bet, that much better than a fresh, but the performance is much better. So I put it at number six. It's the class L1212 Noir. My number five. My number five. Lacoste L1212 Magnetic. Very, very nice one, man. Whew, man. Artemisia, Juniper, Bamboo, Violet, Vetiver. I'll tell you what this one reminds me of. Very similar vibe to Burberry Touch. Um, just probably because of the... the vi Maybe the Violet, I don't know. I think there's a, there may be Artemisia and Burberry Touch. I can't remember. But it just gives me that vibe of Burberry Touch. I like Burberry Touch better. But this is a very nice one, man. Magnetic is one that... It was one of the first ones I got, and I really enjoy this one, man. It's got it's got pretty good performance, not outstanding, but the scent on it, so good, man. My number five, L1212 Magnetic. My number four. My number four is another one. Very similar to this one. For the longest time, I thought they were the same fragrance, but they're not. Lacoste L1212 Blue. This is from 2011. Oh man, this one's incredible. Mint, grapefruit, African orange flowers, sage, and fern. This one is a great blend of lots of different notes, but they do such a good job of blending them together, man. This one was like one of the newer ones that I have in the collection, um, but it smells incredible, man. Great lasting power. This one's never in stock on FragranceNet in the big bottle. It's always a little bitty bottle. It's like the one ounce, the little shot bottle. But if you can find it, it like, I think I've been seeing this at like rack stores. Pick it up for sure. The mint in this blends so well. Let me get it again. Yeah, man. That mint blends well with that like citrus, that grapefruit, I'm guessing is what I'm smelling. But my number four, Lacoste L1212 Blue. My number three. My number three, Lacoste L1212 Rouge. This one, man, you got tea notes, mandarin orange, mango, pepper, cardamom, and woodsy notes. This is from 2012. Man, this one is a, this one's a beast, bro. That tea note, oh man, it smells so good. You definitely smell that tea note with that mango. It smells like like fruit tea is what it smells like. Oh man. This one's a this one's a heavy hitter, man. It smells so good, bro. So fresh. Um, I love that tea note in it. That's what I think is the big hitter for me on this fragrance. The staying power is good. It's the one that I don't really hear people talk about as much with the L1212 stuff. I think it's really underrated. That's Lacoste L1212 Rouge, my number three. My number two. My number two. This one has crept up the list, and it is a heavy hitter. Lacoste L1212 French Panache. Hopefully I'm saying that right. This one is, this one is incredible, man. Um... It says top notes on this lemon zest, mandarin orange, cardamom. You got apple, lavender, sandalwood, patchouli, and narcissus. That's what makes me dig this one so much, probably. That sandalwood. Because it is just a. Oh, man. This is one that kind of just crept out of nowhere. I didn't even really know it was a thing. And then my buddy Ricky hit me up and was like, man, you don't have this one. You don't have this one. And I picked this one up, and it has become my number two out of the entire line. I think it smells incredible. 
It's got great stay power, compliment beast. You can wear it any time of the year. It can do, it's very multifaceted fragrance. I think it's awesome. And that's Lacoste L1212 French Panache. I don't think it's on Fragrance Net. You may have to scoop it up on eBay or Fragrance X, maybe, I'm not sure. But it is a beast. I definitely recommend this one. Number two. My number one, y'all already know what it is. My number one, this is not a surprise at all if y'all follow my channel at all. This is my favorite fragrance in my entire collection. And that is Lacoste L1212 Blanc or Lacoste L1212 White. This one is just incredible, man. Grapefruit, cardamom, rosemary, cedar, tuberose. It's got a little bit of everything. This is a... It's one of the first fragrances I picked up. I got it from Scentbird. Fell in love with it. I got to get a backup bottle. I'm down to like half a bottle now. Um, I just love this fragrance, man. From the, from the notes itself to the performance, just everything about it. When people are starting their collection, I put so many people onto this one. And I haven't had anybody say that they were disappointed yet. So that's good. Um, I've got another couple fragrances that are giving this a run for its money as my favorite in the collection. But it's definitely in my top five, for sure. Um, right now, it's number one, but you never know in another couple months if it may get beat out. But either way, man, if I had to pick five fragrances out of my collection and I could only keep five, this would definitely be one of those five. Lacoste L1212 Blanc. So that's it, man. That's my fragrance rankings for the Lacoste L1212 line. Again, I didn't have all of them. I think there's two that I'm missing. But I think I'm good with these 10. I don't think I'm going to pick those other ones up. They're just too pricey. And I think some of them are very similar to ones that I've already got. So we'll just run with that. Um, hopefully, y'all enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and click all. That way, every time I upload a video, you can be the first one to find out about it. Three things left to tell you. Love, peace, and hair grease, baby. Woo! Yeah.